Welcome back everyone. Today, we are getting into the latest iOS 18.2 Beta 1 update and trust me, there's a lot to unpack. Initially available for the iPhone 15 Pro, Pro Max and the iPhone 16 series, early users have noticed a slight dip in performance compared to iOS 18.1 RC. Some are even reporting random restarts. Geekbench scores back this up, showing a small drop in performance. It's still a beta, so things should smooth out soon. Now, let's get into the cool stuff. Ever get frustrated trying to switch default apps? Apple heard you. There's a brand new section in settings that makes it super easy to change your default email, messaging, calling, and web browsing apps. It's a long-awaited feature that's going to make customizing your phone so much simpler. Plus, if you're dabbling in third-party app stores, you'll now get handy notifications when trying to install them. The Mail app got a major upgrade too. It now smartly organizes your inbox into categories like primary, receipts, and offers, so you don't have to dig through endless promotions to find that important email. The Image Playground app now has a new look and feature set that's pretty mind-blowing. Picture this, you can describe an image like me as a superhero or a cozy cabin in the woods and boom, it generates it for you. You can also get creative by adding costumes or changing environments and save these masterpieces directly to your camera roll. It's all easily accessible through the emoji keyboard, so even creating custom emojis just got a whole lot more fun. Now, you can now enable ChatGPT within Siri to help you with writing tasks in notes or messages, rewrite text in different tones, whether you need something formal or fun, and even summarize content in a snap. It's like having a personal assistant with superpowers right in your pocket. And for all the EU users out there, a huge change, now you can finally delete those previously untouchable apps like Safari, Messages, and even the App Store. To top it off, there's a new volume limit option for external speakers, so you can keep your sound in check, perfect for when you want to avoid accidentally blasting music at full volume. As for what's next, the final version of iOS 18.1 is expected to drop on 28 October, and we'll likely see the next iOS 18.2 beta in early November. If you're counting down the days for the full release of iOS 18.2, it's expected to land in mid-December. Exciting times ahead! That's all for today. If you enjoyed this update, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more iOS news and tech updates. See you in another video. Goodbye!